All right, we're gonna be palpating a muscle on the lower aspect of the cheek here and into the corner of the mouth. So this muscle is depressor anguli oris, so inserting into the angle here, but its origin is on the mandible. So I'm just gonna find a bony landmark first on the ramus. So I'm grabbing that kind of anterior ramus of the mandible and I'm gonna follow it down. I start to feel a turn that starts heading more onto the body. And this is known as the oblique line of the mandible. So as I'm palpating just onto the beginning of that oblique line, this is the origin of the muscle, the oblique line of the mandible, and it inserts into the corner or angle or modiolus of the mouth. So it's gonna be drawing that inferior and lateral with a contraction. So if she's able to do that, which she is, and let's try that one more time. You can see that line of pull has this muscle is drawing this angle inferior and lateral. So again, origin, the oblique line of the mandible here and the insertion into the corner of the mouth. This muscle is innervated by the facial nerve. We're going to be palpating a muscle in the lower aspect of the mouth and into the cheek here, as well as on the chin. So this muscle is depressor labi inferioris. So what I'm going to be doing is just outlining its origin on the mandible first. So I found the anterior part of the ramus and I'm turning and going down along the oblique line and I'm going to follow that forward. And at some point, you're going to come across a small indentation known as the mental foramen. If you were to rest your finger gently there, there is a small pulse, but don't push too hard because we also have a nerve exiting out through that area. So I want to kind of landmark where that is, as well as if I went into the center of her chin and you move just slightly off to the side, this is known as the mental protuberance and a mental tubercle. So the protuberance being in the center and the tubercle being just off to the side. So on the oblique line of the mandible, kind of the body of it, between that foramen and the tubercle is really gonna be the origin of our depressor labi inferioris. And the muscle is going to move up and insert into the musculature of the lower lip. So it primarily draws it inferiorly, and you can start to see the inside of her lip a little bit more. This is known as eversion, when the inside of the lip kind of curls out, showing you excess kind of to the inside. So it's depressing as well as slightly drawing it lateral and everting the lower lip as it does its action. So this muscle is innervated by the facial nerve. We're we'll palpating a muscle of the chin. This muscle's name is mentalis. It's another quite small muscle, but what I'm going to be doing is palpating the kind of the center of your chin. So this is known as the mental protuberance. If you go off to one side, this is the mental tubercle, and if we go above that bump, the tubercle, you land in the incisive fossa. So there is a left and a right incisive fossa. And this is going to be below your incisors on your mandible, your lower front four teeth. So this is the origin on bone. And then the insertion's actually into the skin of the chin. So this muscle is originating on bone and going inferior and superficial. So it's going to be kind of tricky for me to show full fiber direction. But what it's going to do is it's going to take the skin of the chin and it's going to pull it up, which lifts this lower lip but then it's also gonna protrude it forward and out. So if you were to push your lower lip out forward, and what you'll see is that you're getting some wrinkling happening on the skin of the chin. The lip is lifting, it's pushing out, and then it also everts the lip. So if you can show us the kind of inside of it, perfect. So right in here, this is the full action of this mentalis on one side. So let's do that, and I can kind of easily palpate kind of the movement of this muscle. So again, it is originating on bone and inserting into the skin of the chin and its fascia. So this again, muscle is kind of elevating that lower lip and pushing it forward, known as eversion. Mentalis is innervated by the facial nerve.